the week. ABC presents an original motion picture produced especially for the movie of the week. Tonight on the movie of the week. get that, Mrs. Damien. I thought you were in such a hurry to get going. Let her help. We're all ready, Mr. Damien. I'll tell you when we're all ready, Folsom. He's not your servant. He can always leave if he doesn't like it. Please keep your voice down. You can always leave, too. Now, you know you hate the outdoors. Why did you come anyway? Don't be an idiot. You expect me to sink half a million bucks in a manganese mine without being sure it's there? Do you have to yell at me? You know, it scares me when you raise your voice like that. No, my dear. What scares you is that one day you may lose your temper and blow the whole thing. you say? About three or four hours. It's pretty rough going up there. Not to mention down here.
Brother, did you say? First outcrop is right over there. Listen, I'll get a rope and you can tie it around your waist and we'll pull you up with a horse. What, ride back down those mountain trails for four hours with this leg? Don't you do anything. Get me some help. You ride back. I'll stay here. <laughs> All right, Dick. I'll stay here while... And do what? Pray? At least you won't be alone. No. I'd have somebody stupid just out of reach. Look, all I want from you is some of those supplies and then beat it. Rent a helicopter. Buy one if you have to, but get here fast. Yes, sir. We'll have a chopper here real quick. Right away. Stop talking and do something. In case you sweat. Get me out of here. Get me out of here! I'm exhausted. Can you rest a bit? Yeah, I don't see why not. to the truck. A few miles. We'll have him off that ledge by early tomorrow. He won't have much fun tonight, but he's not going to die. What if he did? What, from a broken leg? Suppose we didn't go back for him. Well, then he would die. You want that? More than anything on earth. You'd never get away with it. Why not? Just say he took off. He's done it before. You mean he just disappears? Gets drunk and splits. We could get away with it. I know we could. We? <laughs> no, nah, he might luck out. You know this country. Couldn't you fix it so he doesn't? What's in it for me? Me. Maybe we should have gone farther. Oh, what's 90 miles? They're sure to use planes. No, well, they'll be looking down here on the flat. He's on top of a mountain two ranges away. Might as well be on the moon. Sure wish he had bigger feet. He makes up for it with his mouth. You can still change your mind, you know.
I'm glad I found you home. Okay, you back already? No, I'm still at the dude ranch, but... Oh, your boss has done it again. Done what? Uh, ran off like a spoiled little boy. In the desert? When? Uh, last night. He drove off drunk, hurling insults, the usual. Have you told anybody? I made up a story for the people here, but I wanted to call you first. All right, stay down there. Call me if he doesn't show up in a couple of days. I'll call the sheriff and let him know what's up. Elliot, now, uh, be careful. Now, you remember the, the last time Dick pulled one of his great disappearing acts, you called the police, and the publicity made him livid. I haven't forgotten. Why do you have to go to the desert to play businessman? I could have flown in a couple of geologists and had an answer in 20 minutes. Well, you know Dick. He wanted to experience the great outdoors. I thought Dick's idea of the great outdoors was a Remington painting over his bar. Well, call me when he turns up. Well, he will. He always does. trying to kid me because he thinks I always come running whenever there's rich folks involved. This is Deputy Fred Collins, Mrs. Damien, Mr. Frost, Mr. Folsom. Deputy? I keep telling him I ain't looking for rich friends. I just don't want rich enemies. You sound like a man who'll be re-elected. Well, that's frequently crossed my mind. Fred, you go on ahead. Don't pay attention to me. Mrs. Damien? About what time was it when your husband drove up? It's about 8.30. It was after dinner. When he went to the truck, I thought that he was just going for another bottle of wine, and then suddenly... Where were you headed when you stopped in May Camp? Oh, up there in those hills. It's a mining project, manganese. Takes some money to survey and so forth, you know? Look, I don't mind taking you back in there, but... Well, until I get Mr. Damien or someone to finance me, I sure hate to give it away, you know what I mean? No, that's okay. No need for us to know now, anyhow. It's enormous. Can you really tell if a man is out there or not? Sure can, if you've got a place to start. You see, there's a man's prints going out into the middle of the road, then back again. Made after the truck had left, so those would be Mr. Folsom's. Now, here's Mr. Folsom's and Mr. Damien's together. See how they're different? Right. Of course, all the men have seen these, so they'll be able to recognize Mr. Damien's whenever they come across them. Not too many folks wandering around here in hundred-dollar loafers. I had no idea you could tell so much from just tracks. Ah, uh, that's nothing. I'll take a professional tracker, then. 7-7 seven, seven to car 9. Go ahead, Joe. Found where Damien crossed the center of the road, about 50 yards beyond the truck. Also, a uh, smashed wine bottle, same brand. Good. We'll come up and take a look. That helicopter watching for him? Well, they're watching for fires. Man out there, here's a plane, try to signal with a fire. Right now, though, I think they're looking for birds, mostly. Birds? Yeah, buzzards. Some they get down, sometimes they'll, uh, well, they'll locate them for you. I'd hate to think anybody was alone and helpless out in this country particularly Dick. 
Never even had to light a match for himself. So we can feast on your guts. M.E.K. You think I can't make it, but I can. I know I can. I will. I'm stronger than, than you think. Stronger than you, you... Hustling cowboy clown. What did she promise you? <laughs> well, I will get out, you two. I will walk out just to look in your faces. What little traffic that's gone through here covered up most of the footprints and the wheel tracks, but after three days, you've got to expect that. I just wish we could have known sooner. We were hoping he'd turn up. He's psychotic about publicity. You know, carrying all that cash, like you said. Just worried he got picked up by the wrong man. Some folks around here are a little careless about robbing and killing. Ma'am, what provoked him? It's his own special way of showing affection. Pardon me, ma'am. It just don't make sense, him driving off drunk like that. He could see he wasn't in Palm Springs. This desert's a killer. He's done crazier things. Middle of a golf match once. Gone for a week. Cart and all. But never in the desert before. No, never in the desert. <laughs> Why didn't you stop him? Well, I tried, but, uh, well, you know, him being who he is and all, you know? I told you I was trying to get some money out of him. I can appreciate that. Now, Mrs. Damien, is there anything at all you can tell us about your husband that will help these men find him? Yes. Be careful. He doesn't rattle before he strikes. She's upset. A woman in a situation like this is liable to say anything. You know, it doesn't sound like they got along, does it? Sheriff, he doesn't get along very well with anybody. Now, Mr. Folsom. Where are you staying? Well, I thought I'd head on back to L.A. I'd uh, kind of like you two to stick around a bit, if you don't mind. I might need you later. Fine. I love the desert. I'm on my way to Phoenix. Uh, the sheriff will drop me off at the airport. Mr. Folsom will take you back to the Lazy D. I'll be in touch with you by phone. Come on. 
keep. I can see him. It's two miles. Don't get so uptight. Uptight? After that crack you made in front of everybody? What do you want me to do? Pretend? That sheriff's no hick. He's a sharp cop. So? How long do you think it would take him to find out what Dick and I really think of each other? Elliot's probably telling him right now. Look, I still think it was an out-to-lunch remark, okay? It would have been more suspicious if I'd acted upset, believe me. Yeah, yeah, sure. How stupid. What? That white blanket we left him. They can spot it from the air. Ah, forget it. They'll never get over that way, not even by accident. Just pray for rain. Why rain? It'll wipe out the tracks that we made going up. Once it rains, we'll... Fly back there and make sure. Well, won't that be suspicious? We're not going to live the rest of our lives just wondering. We know where the ledge is. So we'll just rent a plane and fly back there and take a look. Do you know that I was in the Air Force? You're a man of many parts. I still wish we hadn't left the blanket. We're coming back, remember? Yes, we were, weren't we? I don't know how a man can be so rich and act so dumb, handling a woman like a pack mule. You don't know the half of it. Well, I saw enough the last few days. He made me sign a contract. Yeah, what kind? If I divorced him, I got nothing. Zero. <laughs> he had me so locked. No, there was no way out until this whole thing fell into my lap. It isn't murder. He was alive. We didn't touch him. We just didn't save him. It's murder, all right. Executive Vice President, whatever that may mean. His fortune's inherited, you know. Mostly just investments now. He doesn't do much of anything, really, although he likes to think he does. You said before he was hard to get along with. How do you mean that? He's unpredictable, unreasonable. He avoids relationships where money doesn't give him an edge, and he can be pretty rough with it. Does that include you? Well, we've had our differences, but... I understand him well enough to ride them out. He doesn't sound like a very popular fellow at that. Or a very happy one, either. No, he's not. I think he's always had the fear that without his money, he'd be nothing. Helpless. Of course, maybe he would be.
Son of a gun. like you. But you don't have my brain either, kiddo. As long as I've got that, why, Charlie, my odds are looking better all the time. You know something, Charlie? She always loved surprises. Stay out of the sun. to you. And now shall we try for 40 feet?
Mrs. Damien? Have you heard anything about Mr. Damien? You have the most incredible mind. Thank you. I think I will sit down. Incredible mouth, huh? What about the rest of me? Oh, it meets minimum daily requirements. What are those scars on your shoulder? My rodeo days. Got thrown a few times, busted my collarbone. Now that's when I figured out there must be an easier way to make a living. So I uh, danced around a few years and uh, finally fell into mining school. Took me a long time to find out what I really wanted to do. The pursuit of quick money. No, just the kind of life I want to lead. The kind that you probably take for granted. Granted? It's more like being sentenced. I'd suffer it, believe me. Believe me, you pay the price for being able to pay the price. I see you got a few scars of your own. More than meets the eye. How'd you get the one on the arm? <laughs> At my coming out party before Daddy lost the family fortune, I was thrown by some Don Perignon, 53. What? Never mind. It's a bad joke. Gross Point, Sarah Lawrence, Dick Damien, all a bad joke. It'll be different now. Don't worry about anything. Why should I? Four days. Must be over by now. You know, when you lie still, you have the most incredible mouth.
news and weather freaks will hang around, I'll give you the Southern California rundown right after the next cut. Okay, what are you doing? Relax, <laughs> Daryl. I took a taxi from the shopping center. Is this what you do? I mean, you just barge right in on people? You don't mean people. You mean men. Yeah, I guess that's what I mean. Well, ask me to sit down and I'll tell you. Tell me what? When you're married to Richard Damien, you stay a good girl. I never knew where, when he'd show up or who he had watching me. It wasn't that way at first. I think we were in love. Whatever it was, he killed it. Come on. Sit down and kiss me. Honey, we're not being very smart. Come on. I'm not going to wait for it to rain. What did we go through all this for? To be apart? Come on. Besides, the rain can work both ways. If it doesn't rain, where does he get water? There are places. If you know where to look. <laughs> Him? If he can't buy it or rent it, he won't know where to get it, believe me. Spectrographic analysis. Do you have to know this? It helps if you're peddling mineral deposits. I'm gonna have to get you a maid. You'll like living like the beautiful people. You keep telling me how cool you are, but you can't sit still. Why are you so nervous? I don't know. I'm nervous because I'm getting the feeling that, that you don't want me here, that you're scared. I'm not scared. Look, we got a lot of riding on this, and I don't want to blow it. Baby, don't. When you're afraid, that makes me afraid. That's the way I used to be. I'm not going to be that way anymore. Now for the weather. Mountain Resort should reach 85. Low tonight somewhere in the mid-60s. In the desert, hot and dry. Now I said I'm not going to wait.
want me to do, isn't it? That's the easy way. Who's taking the easy way? Not me, Kay. I'm still here. I'm still living. I'm still coming. Besides, I'm about there anyway. stay here.
worked. It worked. <laughs> Still here. See? See me? Right here. I'm still here. I'm sorry. Your houseman let me in. Thank you. Uh, sit down, some lunch? No, thanks. I wanted to see you. Because, uh, well, phoning seems too impersonal. Dick is dead. No, not for sure. But we don't have a hint where he might be. Just those tracks crossing the road and... 
Well, maybe somebody picked him up. It's been 19 days. We'd have heard. A ransom note. Something. Then there's no hope. Really none. Not if he's still in the desert, no. Oh, sit down. I know you don't agree. But I have a feeling if things had been different, if he hadn't grown up with so much money in a world where it has such power, he might have been quite a guy. Too bad he never had a chance to find out whether he was or not. Well, maybe it isn't that final. I hope you're right. But if you aren't, certain controls are going to be passed to you. And before you exchange too much trust with this Folsom, I think you ought to know who and what he is. You've had him investigated? My job is to protect Dick's money. And there are some things in Folsom's past you ought to know about. Well, if, if you think they're that important, go right ahead. Thirty seconds more. Thirty seconds more!
find your own shade. How's it going? Not bad. The air conditioning on my horse is not working too good, though, but we'll make it. Well, when you're elected, we'll have it fixed. Any sign of him? Not a thing. If he's out there, he must be flying or something, because he's sure not leaving any tracks. You know, I was just thinking, if I got lost out there somehow, without any water, and I knew nobody was coming for me, I just might speed things up a little bit, you know, towards the end. Yeah, most folks would, I expect.
Folsom to see you, ma'am. Show him in, please. Folsom. Mr. Folsom. Okay. How nice to see you. Quite a surprise. Well, I was just passing by and I thought I'd take a chance on Ralph, uh, thank you. You may clear now. We'll be in the study. Yes, ma'am. care if he's Sherlock Holmes. It has done rained. Tracks are gone. <laughs> We're in the clear. <laughs> Eight years and Dick Damien's showcase and now I'm free. Yeah, free. Elliot came over the other day. Yeah? I think he suspects something. Well, you tell him to be careful because uh, I might fire him. He says they've just about given up. Well, they might as well. Oh, they might still question us. They may even want me to take them up and show them the manganese now. But that's no problem. No. I'll show him some. In those hills I said we were heading for. It's no good, but so what? I'm a lousy prospector. Except, <laughs> well, when it comes to pure gold. I wish I thought you meant me. I do. The money became second in my mind. You're first. You have lost your last husband. I'm going to be with you forever.
signal. Smoke. back up there twice unless unless they were looking for something it's them it's got to be them what are you doing now i thought i saw some smoke where i don't know it's in the air. I don't know where it's coming from. It's over there, see? I don't see anything. We're gonna go back. We're gonna rent a car and go back in there. There should have been some sign of them, something. But you said the rain. Never mind what I said. We're going back. I don't want to go back. It couldn't have been him. It just couldn't. Somebody made that smoke. Not going back for him's one thing. Hey, you sure can split hairs. I should have listened to Elliot. He warned me about you. What about me? Your background. You mean my discharge from the Air Force? No, I mean your career as a pimp in the Air Force. As a pusher in the Air Force, that's what I mean. Well, what did you expect to get? A bishop to help you knock off your husband? Now, you knew I'd been around, and you loved it. Now, listen to me. Now, one, we don't know if he's alive. Two, if he is alive, it's over for you and me. You, maybe, with your record. You and me. Now, what happened to us out there and what we did about it doesn't happen part way. There's no getting off in the middle. But that means this. And I want you to get the car in gear and move. Right now. togetherness he's in those foothills over there 
They're a lot further away than they look. Now, you want to wait here? Some choice. It makes no difference to me. Making it all up. Where was it? On that. That he was here. Maybe not. Maybe the wind. No, no, it's too far. Maybe an animal. Look, it's all torn up. No, it's been cut with a knife. Andy. Shut up. Hey, help me look. For what? For footprints, anything. A crutch. A crutch, Mark. He had to have a crutch. I don't want to look. I want to go. Go? Listen, he's probably close enough where he's heard everything we said. Now, how does that grab you? Mr. Damien? Can you hear me? We've been looking all over for you. We got lost. We got food and water. Come on out. If, if you're too weak, make a sound. We'll find you. Do you think if he could hear you, he'd believe you? Keep your damn voice down. Don't you swear at me. Your kind's a nickel a throw. Well, then what does that say about you? <laughs> I wish I... Never laid eyes on your stupid face. You know what you are, Andy? An animal! I wondered why you dug me so fast. I wish you were dead! One at a time, baby. You're not even sure of the first one. I'm gonna look over here. We'll never be able to hide from him. Not any place. You're right, we couldn't. But I didn't say we, did I? Andy? Andy, wait! Suppose... Suppose we get lost. Andy? Andy, wait! Richard Damien. Figured you might be. 
out there, but uh, as long as you're up to the ride, there's an ambulance waiting in town. Say, you all right, you sure? I was just thinking about the desert. Highway patrol found him wandering this morning. Where? Back there. They got lost in the dark. Probably looking for me. Yeah, so they said. Mr. Damien, what do you want me to do about him? Why, nothing, Sheriff. You mean, just let him continue? Just go on the way? Well, I mean, there's no reason not to let them go. I wandered off, broke my leg. Any crime in that? Whatever you say. Is that the town? Such as it is. Would, would you let me off here? Really? I'd, uh, I'd like to walk in from the desert. I don't think I can explain it right now. Uh, you don't have to. I'll wait up ahead. Thanks for the lift. Uh, Mr. Damien. You're a hell of a man. <laughs> 